Okay, so right now I'm going to be going over the spinal cord model. Here is the list for your reference. Just to look at it real quick, you can pause it, come back to it. But anyway, so um, to start, the anterior median fissure is this one, because anterior means in the front, and the fissure is going to be bigger than the sulcus, which is in the back. So anterior median, because it's in the middle, and it's anterior in the front, median fissure. This is the posterior median sulcus. So, now on here you can see that too, this in the front here would be be the anterior median fissure and in the in the back this line that black line right there would be the posterior median sulcus next one is the anterior lateral and posterior horns of the gray matter so anterior would be this one lateral horn would be this one because it's in the middle and the posterior horn would be this one so back to this model would be anterior lateral and posterior horn of the gray matter because it's gray and the next one is the anterior lateral and posterior columns of the white matter. So there's not any real definite shape for it. We just kind of say like this is the anterior column, this is the lateral column, and back here is the posterior column of the white matter. Next is the central canal. It's just that black dot in the middle. Um, you can't really see it on this one except there's like a slight dip right there. It kind of goes in a little bit. That would be the central canal going down like right here, that little groove. Um, the next one is the gray conisher. It's basically just the gray little bridge that it makes right there in between the gray central canal and the white part. So this is the gray conisher. Both, um, so it would be basically this part before the central canal and this part before the central canal. It's easier to see on this one, just this part and this part, the gray part. And then the white commissure is between where the, the sulcus starts and the fissure starts, so it's the white part right in here and the white part right in there is the white commissures. And that's all for the spinal cord. Wait, just kidding, no it's not. <laughs> um, here you have the, um, the roots, they're roots because they're separated because this one has to this is the dorsal root or the posterior root this is the ventral root or the anterior root and they come together to make up the spinal nerve so this whole thing right here is the spinal nerve this one is um, called a ganglion because it's got a little ball right there and this one is in charge of sensory information and this one is in charge of motor information you can remember that because this um, little ball here kind of looks like a white eyeball, kind of like it got stuck inside the tube. Like a, looks like um, someone had smushed an, an eyeball in there and it stuck. And eyeballs have to do with sight and vision, which is a sensory uh, information. So the dorsal root is, has to do with sensory, and this one has to do with motor. And they come together, and the, the, and the nerve is able to do both, sensory and motor. And now that's all.